Welcome back, everybody. We have an amazing special guest today, Tsutsui Sensei, Togaku Ryu Soke. Yay! <laughs> uh, we are so lucky to, to have him here with us today. I called him up, I asked him to be on YouTube, and I couldn't believe it when he said yes. So we're so lucky. I wanted to ask him a couple things. Maybe two questions today. Okay. Just two questions today. I wanted to ask him the first was, uh, Sensei, when he met him, the feeling that we met, met Sensei. じゃあ初見先生との出会い。出会いね。はい。出会いはやっぱりあのジライアっていう作品で、うん、あの共演させていただいて、うん、先生がお父さん役で私が息子の役、うん、が出会いですね。出会い。So so the, the how he met 初見先生 most of you know was on the set of ジライア when he was、uh, the son and 初見先生 was the father、uh, teaching him martial arts. はいはい。うんうん、それでまあ最初はね。武道の先生だから、怖い人かなちょっと思ってた。そう、he thought 先生 was probably a very scary guy because he was a very famous martial artist at that time。それは53年。全然怖くなくて、私を本当の息子のようにあの接してくださって。But he wasn't scary at all. He was very kind and actually he actually treated him like his own son。で一緒にあのまあ三人兄弟だったんですけど、三人兄弟とお父さんと四人で撮影終わった後食事行ったりとかね。Mm. So they were、uh, in, in the film. There were there were three、uh, brothers and sisters, and there was sensei as a family. And so, like after the after they were filming, they sensei would take them out to dinner and things like this.、Mm. Wow, that's very very. No, 結構あの道場の練習シーンで投げられたりとかね、厚木先生。もうやさそれもちゃんと私が受け身を取れ取れるように綺麗に投げてくれるっていう。You know, there's some scenes where Sensei was teaching him about martial arts in the dojo when he's throwing him and things like this. And he said Sensei was very kind because that,、uh, he would throw me so that I would be able to do ukemi. So, 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 he hadn't done any martial arts at that time, so, he was just learning as he was going with Hatsumi Sensei. So, ha, ja. もう本当にその場その場その場その場でちゃんと勉強してできるようになっていけないんですでもう一年間一緒に共演してかなり初見先生と一緒にやらせていただいていろんなちょっとずつ学んでいった。そう、he would have to actually learn the movements right there on set right before they filmed and 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 master them and after one year he was finally able to you know have a certain amount of skill with Hatsumi 先生 after that one year。やっぱ初見先生と一緒にいるっていうことが大切かなって、うんうん、あのなんか練習するよりも一緒にいて会話してるっていうだけでなんかこう勉強になるんだけど。なあ、なあ、this is really interesting.、うん、I I I feel the same way. He says, you know, versus you know training with Hatsumi 先生 on the physical aspect, he says the thing I felt was most important was just being around 先生 and speaking with him and hearing from him. あ,あ、そう、うん。そう思いませんかでも。もちろん、俺もそう思いますよ。俺もそう思いますけれども、はい、すごくあ,あ、そうですかね。はい、はいうん。そうですか。例えば何が面白いんですかね。なんか面白いことがあったかどうかってことですか。あ、そうそう。というかその会話なぜなぜそれが大切なんですかね。なんだろうね。あの冗談の中にもちゃんとした真実がなんかあるっていうか。Uh, so I was asking, well, what made those conversations? What made being around Sensei so special? And he says, well, in the midst of like、uh, joking and laughing, Sensei would have a really serious point or a really, you know,、uh, teaching in that in that joke. So I'm going to say, God, I'm going to say, so I'd like to ask him one more question here today while we have、uh, Sensei here. I'd like to ask him about. If there was any kind of situation that、uh, was said that he remembers it, I left a lasting impression on his mind. Okay, じゃあなんか先生とのセットで、時代のセットでなんか印象深い話ありますかね。そうですね。あの撮影所にその日はあのゆで卵を持ってきてらっしゃったんですよ。ゆで卵。四つ、四つ。So 先生 brought to the set one day four boiled eggs. Right. それで子供が三人。三人子供がいて、で先生の分と四つなんですよね。So there's a, you know, there's the three children, right? And then there's sensei as the family. So he had, he brought four eggs. で卵食べていいよって言われて。So he had these four hard boiled eggs, I should say, hard boiled eggs. And he, and he gave them to each, each of the children, and then he had one for himself. で皮を剥こうとしたら先生がいきなり自分の分を皮殻ごとガブって食べてらっしゃって。<笑> so, 
So he says, you know, I started to peel my, my boiled egg to eat the egg. And he says, since he just took his egg and was like, and just bit down on his egg with the shell on it and everything. The 先生殻は剥かないんですかって言ったら、いや、剥かないよ。殻にはたくさんカルシウムが入ってるんだから、このまま食べた方がいいんだよ。とか。So the kids were like, Well, sensei, what are you doing? I mean, aren't you, gotta, you gotta peel the egg. And he's like, no, no, no. He's like, you know, the shell has all the calcium. You gotta eat it like this. And he was just crunching on this, on this egg with a shell. So, he said, the egg was a little bit of a shell. So, after he ate the egg,、uh, <laughs> he, there was blood coming off his gums because of the shell pieces. <laughs> <laughs> he says, maybe sensei is gonna be. Especially from the people、uh, overseas, is like now that Tsui Sensei became the 35th Soke of Tokaku Ryu, what's he gonna do now? Let's, let's ask him. How do you think he's gonna do now? Let's ask him. How do you think he's gonna do now? Let's ask him. How do you think he's gonna do now? Let's ask him. How do you think he's gonna do now? Let's ask him. So he says, you know, it's a very、uh, big responsibility, right?、Mm. Uh, でもあの最初だからあの筒井君次の総研でせあの三十四代初見先生に言われたときにいや先生も絶対できません無理ですってお断りしようかなとお断りしたんですけどもうそんな先生聞いてくれなくてもう勉強して三十五代ついてください。So he says, you know,、uh, when he was first told by 先生初見先生 that you're the next one. He says, you know, there's no, it's impossible. There's no way. He's like, please, you know, this, I can't do it.、Uh, but Sensei was like, no, you, you have to do it. I'm giving it to you. And now you have to study and practice and maybe rise to the occasion, maybe, right? So, I'm like, 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 Uh, and he says, You know, I, I didn't, people are going to start calling me te- sensei, you know. And I said, I, I, I didn't know, I'm not, I'm not really sensei. And then, and then、uh, so he's like, But now I feel that, you know, it's my obligation, my duty now to study hard and fulfill that role as the next s o k i a t o r a r i u Nimpo. And、uh, I'm, I'm very happy, I'm very happy that you are. So I'm very happy that he's doing that. I'm very happy that he came here today. And、uh, it's, it's been wonderful. で筒井道場っていうのを時々今やってるんですけども、うんうん、あの私はあのなかなかまだ教えるだけの技術がないんでであの他の師範の先生に来てもらって、うんうん、一緒にみんなで楽しく忍術を学びましょうみたいな筒井道場をやってますでそれをもっともっと大きくしていきたいなと今後はそういうふうに思ってます。So, at the moment, uh, he's doing lessons. Uh, they're not regularly,、uh, once in a while, because of this corona, they'll get together and they have people, they're bringing people that ha- you know, haven't done many martial arts yet uh, and uh, who's interested in ninjutsu and、uh, they, they train.、Um, we also, he also brings in some of the、uh, Shihan from the Bujinkan to help out with that training and he's thinking about keeping that going on, this training, and when corona ends, to have a more, more regular training and then to bring this the Tsui Dojo. To a, a bigger and bigger, bigger、uh, presence in the Bujinkan. So that's very exciting. Yeah, to them all excited. So, and the, 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 Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, it's a very interesting、um, story about the, the character for、uh, 
Tsui do, dojo, the do here is a completely different do. Uh, it's, not the, it's not the kanji for road, but it's the kanji for to be led, right? And so he's thinking that his dojo is to, that is to be led by, um, you know, to have people come into the, into the art and be, can be, be, be led by the art maybe. Something like this. Mm. Right. It's a very, uh, it has a very um, ethereal feeling maybe, you know, a very, uh, almost a spiritual feeling to it. So I think it's a beautiful name. Thank you so much for coming today. Hey. It's been really a pleasure to have Sui Sansa here today. I mean, I can't tell you. It's just really, really a, a great pleasure to have him here. And we've decided we're going to try to get to Togakushi in the beginning of November. In the beginning, maybe the first, second week of November. So everybody, we have also have permission to do a live streaming with Sui Sensei at Togakushi. Unbelievable. So leave your questions in the comments below. Everyone write a question. I know you have a lot of questions for Sui Sensei. So leave your comments below and we'll ask most questions. We'll have a good time, have a drink together. Uh, it's going to be great. And we'll leave this uh, video, of course, in the regular videos uh, so you can watch it, even if you can't attend the live show. So there you have it. You know, it was super wonderful to have Sui Sensei here. And you know, I know my translations weren't always perfect, but you know, it is very difficult to translate on the fly like this. I did like the part about his dojo, how he wants people to train and have a really good time together, and how that character for do, which means uh, way, so like dojo means like the place of the way, it changes to do which is this character here, which means to be led. So it's a place where you are led. And this usually to be led means something like from a higher power, like a divine power, something like this. So it does have that kind of uh, otherworldly aspect to it. You know, I love that character. It was something that Sensei talked about often. And I spoke about that in my Zoom calls last year. So, you know, if you guys want to see those Zoom calls sometime, let me know. Put your you know, comments down below. And if I can, I'll try to put those Zoom calls up somewhere. People can uh, access them somehow. But mainly, I want to thank Sui Sensei for coming by. And also, to remember, we got that live coming up. I think we're going to be in Togakushi on the 5th and 6th of November. And we're going to have this live broadcast, uh, live streaming YouTube. So please leave your questions in the comments below. This was just a quick edit to try to get the English version out there. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't hit that like button, go ahead and do that now. Subscribe. Turn on notifications because this really helps our channel and it helps keep us inspired to keep bringing you these videos. And if you'd like to make a donation, you can here on this channel with the super thanks button. So thanks a lot, everybody. See you in the next one.